we're gonna start on our second dish here. These are uh, potato latkes. First of all, get your peeler out. Cause they get brown pretty quick. I wrap that little sucker up, let him hang out there. I like a bit of shallot in mine for sure. Just gives that nice bite. Kind of fine there, a little mince into the bowl. For this, I think I'm only gonna go half a clove because that's a pretty big clove of garlic. So garlic in there. Now we're gonna take a farm fresh egg and drop that right on top of those. So you can see the color on that egg. Now that's a real egg. Now we're gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper in the base of this. We will come back and add some more with the potato. We're gonna do some nutmeg. We're gonna throw in, watch, careful. A couple tablespoons maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Wicka, wicka. So now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of flour, just all purpose flour. We're gonna go two of those guys. You don't want too much. Just give it a stir first before you put any more in. You don't want it like a pancake or anything. You just want it kind of thick. So we're actually gonna go with the full two in there. Now you can see that's perfect. Just a little, just a little thickened. Pull out our potato and we're gonna grate right into our towel, clean kitchen towel. Now what you wanna do is get a good grip on this thing and get all the liquid. All right, we got a good amount of liquid coming out of there. If you leave the liquid in there, if you forget this step, what you get is just really messy and also more importantly, not crispy potato pancakes. So you can see what you have at the bottom here is not a lot of liquid. So if you add too much milk, this would be the time to drain it off. Give that a little bit of a stir. We're gonna start our, our cast iron pan over here and set that aside to rest just for a moment. Ouch! <laughs> Medium heat. We've been away for about five minutes and what we have now is a little bit of liquid on the bottom and that's okay. So what we're gonna do is put a little olive oil in the pan, just a touch. And then we're gonna go in with some butter, salted, and swirl that around. And if your heat's too high, just turn it down a bit. I think we're doing pretty good here. So I like to go with a fork, spot like that, kind of drip dry it there, and right into the pan. I like them bite size, especially when you're passing an hors d'oeuvre at a dinner party, you don't want it too big. And the trick is not to smash them down either. Just kind of put them in there, put the potato in the pan, and just let it sit. Gravity will do the rest. And you can work in batches, don't crowd your pan. I'm gonna swirl that around and make sure all the butter and olive oil gets all over the potatoes. You can see how they're starting to slide around in the pan. While we're fiddling around over here with these guys, we're gonna pull up our, our garnishes. That would be creme fraiche and a little bit of gravlax style salmon. What I'm gonna do is cut these guys in thirds. Give those guys a little fold here. And I see that we're getting brown over there and I can smell them. They smell absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and flip our latkes here. Beautiful, crispy. Yep, a couple of them, if they're not ready, just keep them flipped over. Now what you wanna do when you flip, important step, is to kinda of shake them around and get some of that butter and olive oil on the bottom side too, so you can have evenly crispy potatoes on both sides. All right, that's enough salmon there. We're gonna pull up our plate here. So I'm gonna pull these guys out right now because they're crispy on both sides now, nice and brown. So we're gonna keep it there. I'll just eat these later. So we're gonna go on with our salmon. These are, re it's really important, at least for me, to have a nice hot latka because then you get the cold salmon 
you get the hot potato, you get the cold creme fraiche. It's just really, really a great contrast. So now we're gonna go just a little bit of chive up on top of those guys to finish. So here's our final dish. We have a cosmic apple, purple Viking potato latka. We have creme fraiche, a little chive, and some beautiful gravlax style salmon. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is really good. Wow. Boy, here's the family. You better uh -oh. hurry up and eat these. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah, just get in there. Yeah, totally, totally. But I would like to thank everybody, and these guys especially, and this beautiful family for what they've done. Oh and gosh. we've enjoyed the season immensely, and we've fed a lot of people. They've fed a lot of people. We, you know, it just, we can't do it without them. <laughs> so, yeah, so, thanks good. for watching. Thanks for cooking. Yeah, of course. Keep right. eating. I'm going to get some spoons. All right.